just like that, bro. How are you, Kel? Yeah, I'm good, how are you? Good to see you. See you. I really want to hug you, man. No. I really want to hug you. So good to see you, man. Yeah, you too. Can I just say something, man? Coming from London, man, this has got a real Coronation Street vibe about it, bro. I can't even lie. So I grew up around here. Yeah. So my primary school is just down here. We're about to go to the place where I used to play football from when I was like eight, nine years yeah. old. And then my house is just around this corner as well. This is where I've always grown up. I've had friends around here and everything. Can I just say, Cal, I remember watching you, right? Came to watch Leeds and Brentford. I remember when I left the game, I was saying to everybody, I just watched somebody, it was like watching a man play with kids, bro. You were on fire that night, man. That's why I started blasting you. I just had to start <laughs> getting in touch and say, nice one, well played. No, obviously I respect that. Obviously coming from you, you know, he's been an idol from, for me for many years. I've got a younger brother who supports Arsenal. Seriously? Yeah, so he um, absolutely loves you. No, man. Um, my mum used to love Arsenal as well. Um, she loved Thierry Henry. Serious, did she? But she loved you as well. <laughs> When you was great, what kind of player was you? Did you was you that midfield player who scored loads of goals, or was you was you box to box? Um, a bit of both, really. I was kind of box to box, but when I played like Sunday league and stuff, I used to just I used to just try and do everything, and I scored a lot of goals when I was younger as well. The first time I went to Leeds, I was on trial for like four weeks. Mm. I think we played like six games. I think I scored in every game, and then I signed, and then didn't score for the rest of the season. <laughs> so. Where are we, bro? We're in, um, this used to be called, well, this is still called the mush, Mushy Field, we call it. What is this, what, did you used to play here? Yeah, this, this, so these new houses up here, these, this was like a mushroom farm. Right. So years ago when I was little, we used to come up here, we used to call it the Mushy, all our friends used to call it the Mushy, and this is where we used to play as kids, you know, me and my brother, all my friends, and even Sunday League, you know, Workley used to play on this pitch as well, so. Did you play for hours? Hours, hours on end. And even when, when I signed my contract at Leeds, you know, my friends were going out and kicking up. You can't play with them yeah, still. I still it's, go funny. Play with them. it's really weird. Yeah. It's the same thing when I was at Palace in the first team. When I'd still go to the park and yeah. play, it's yeah. like you can't stop yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous. Can you imagine if you got injured? That's what I mean, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You no, don't no, even yeah. think of it. You know you Were they allowed to you tackle do. you? If anyone got near you to tackle you, did everyone say, don't tackle him? Nah, nah, to be fair, it's, around here it's quite rough. So it's like, you know, you used to play against a lot of older people, and if they've seen you doing well, they kind of want to get stuck into you. Seriously? And, yeah, but it was just how it is, it was just how it is. Did your mum used to bring you here? Yeah, all the time. It's literally like a five minute walk from our house. Because I'm, I'm reading your mum had two jobs, maybe yeah. three jobs, so yeah. did you see her a lot or was she always busy working? It was just on the weekends really, we seen her. She was busy working. You know, we used to get up for school about eight o'clock and then she'd either drop us off in a car that, you know, wouldn't quite work properly. Yeah. You know, we used to see her probably for about half an hour in the morning. And then he used to come home from school. It was my grandma yeah. would come and pick us up. We got my grandma's until she finished work. You're in and around the 14-15s, and you get a letter from school to your mum. What, what, what's it about? What's the letter saying? Um, I think my mum went into obviously spoke to school about days where we used to go into uh, football, like during the week. Yeah. So it'd be taking up time in my school, and you know Leeds are really good with it. We used to do school work there and stuff like that. And my mum obviously wrote into school and said, "Is Calvin able to do this?" Uh, my mum got a letter back saying that. We're not too sure about letting Calvin do it because, you know, I hope Calvin knows that not many people make it as professional footballers and with him missing his schoolwork, we feel like this is more important than what football is. So, what, what's your mum say? She said, you've worked this hard to get in this position, we're not going to let anybody take it away from you and, you know, I was just like, yeah, let's go then. So you're smashing it now, Calvin, and what are you thinking? Because it leads the pressure that they're under to go up. The fact that they get so close, it weren't quite happening. What's happening? Because I'm, I read somewhere, like you said, something about like Villa were in and around you. Yeah. What happened? Did Granny Val get involved? <laughs> yeah, she did too, fair. What did um, she say? The season we didn't get promoted, we got knocked out in the playoffs. How did you feel? I was gutted, man. So I told her about, obviously, Aston Villa being in, being in touch. She was like, oh, no. No, you're, <laughs> you're you not doing like that. Yeah, well. you're not doing that. You're not doing that. So I was like, what do you mean? And I said, it's a chance to play like Premier League football. I've always wanted to do it. And she said, you've been at Leeds for 10, 10 years now. You were this close to going up. Why not give it one more shot to try and make it up? Try and do something that, you know, Leeds fans and your family yeah. will never forget. That's really you know, nice. Stick it out. I'm really sorry as well. She's not long to, she's not long past and everything. Yeah, right? yeah. How have you been dealing with this time? You know what I mean? You can't hug people. You can't do yeah. anything. You've got that kind of news. You just... Yeah. What's it's tough, it, it is. Like? It is tough. Um, you know, I had a couple of days off to kind of get all the grieving yeah. over and done with. And, you know, just being there for my mum was the main thing and my, 
you know, I'm the oldest in the family, so I just had to be there to support them, no matter how much it hurt me. So you come to Leeds now, Bielsa sees you. You're this, what, what you say, box-to-box -box kind of midfielder. He now changes you to that holding midfielder. Can you remember the first time that happened? It was probably the first day he came in. Um, he named everyone by their positions. He came to me and said number four. And I was like, what? <laughs> Did you not watch me last year? Because <laughs> <not? laughs> uh, I think I scored seven goals or something the yeah, year before he yeah. came. And he just came to me and said, this is the position I want you to play. We've seen what you can do with the ball and without the ball, but you know, it's defensively that we need to work on your stuff. And I know you like scoring goals. I know you like getting forward. And you know, you will eventually be able to do that. Um, but he says, for me, this is where you're going to play. So the defensive side, was you ever defensive minded or? Not really, I just loved to tackle, I just loved to smash somebody. If I got the chance to go into a 50 50 tackle, I used to just, I used to just um, buzz off, you know, try to smash people. I think now, you know, I kind of know that, you know, I can't really do that anymore. What's next for you and Leeds now? What, what are you looking to do now? Just try and end on a high, try and get as many points as possible, and, you know, I think the Euros is coming up as well in the summer. You know, just try and get as many good, consistent performances under my belt and hopefully going to the tournament feeling fresh. I'd like to hug you, bro, but yeah. we can't hug. <laughs> I'm so pleased with everything's going for you at the minute, man. Cheers, thank you. You deserve everything you get, bro. Cheers, man. Hello, this is Dan Walker from Football Focus. Thank you so much for watching our video on the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember, you can give this video a like down there. You can subscribe and then hit the bell button so you never miss an upload in the future. And you can watch another one of our videos right up there. See you soon.